have a condenser that's not running. I came up here to see if we had a clogged drain. It does not look like we do. All right, condenser is not running. I have had several problems with this one. That breaker looks like it might be tripped. No power, no power. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and turn that all the way off. <clears throat> and we're gonna check this capacitor. AD and 10. Point zero five nanofarads on home firm ten on the for the fan. Oh wait a minute, eighty one. Yeah, so the capacitor is good. All right, let's check for a direct short. That is not good. Looks like we got an ant man back here. short goes away.
and I have no shorter. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, so what's different? ohms to ground all right we may have a shorted plug somewhere thermostat wires I mean excuse me compressor wires Thirty-one ohms. All right. I don't know why I didn't do that before, but compressor's unplugged, and, and I got a direct short to ground. Okay, we have a crankcase heater on this, and it looks like it's in there with the ants. So, let's see, this wire and this one are my crankcase heater. I actually like to wire them like that on a single pole contactor because when the contactor is pulled in, this shows zero volts across it. So the heat exchangers, uh, excuse me, the crankcase heater has no power. But when the contactor pulls out, this shows 240 volts across it, and the crankcase heater is energized. But I think that is my problem. Because of the ants. No short, no short. All right, let's plug the compressor back up. All right, so that's what it is. Looks like we need to get a, let me see if I can find a water spigot anywhere. Right there. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull those. Pull those wires through. That way we know they don't have any power. And this should come on. If I'm not mistaken, in the attic, this did not have the line set going up and then down. It just came across. If it had what we, what I call an unintentional trap, 
I wouldn't worry about the crankcase heater, but because it don't, we're going to have to replace that. of that is it pumps all the oil out of the compressor so you put a crankcase heater on it to keep it warm to keep that from happening you can also mitigate that a little bit by putting a trap in the line set in the attic that particular system does not have one so it's even more important to um, have the crankcase heater yeah, we're far south, but still, during the winter, it's colder outside, and the heat pump is running, so the crankcase heater is there for a reason. I had to order that one, so um, we actually had the next day air it so I can get it in two or three days. If I order it just by regular shipment, it would take four to six weeks. Seems to be a common thing nowadays. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>